crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for crackberry.com and as you can see we got an iPad 2, a Blackberry Playbook and it's time to put them head to head in a web browser comparison or shootout or whatever you want to call it. So let's uh, get going on it. We're going to run through a few sites and one thing to note right away is that the Playbook has Flash, it supports Flash while the iPad does not. We're going to do the first site with Flash enabled on this, see how it goes because I have been playing around with this a little bit before we've done the shootout. We're going to do CNN to start. And uh, I've noticed that with flash enabled, this takes a couple seconds longer often. So let's see what happens here. On your mark, get set, go. iPad's quick off the line. Playbook was hanging up there, coming in quick now. And iPad's hanging. Playbook wins iPad choking on something. Notice we have a flash ad there. Notice Dr. Drew is static there. And iPad finished now. Oh, because they wanted to serve you an iPad app. Interesting. Glitchy McGlitchy. Okay. Uh, let's do another one with flash enabled since here we it didn't seem to slow down the boat too much. How about National Geographic? Double check the spelling, National Geographic, nationalgeographic.com, flash enabled, no flash. Three, two, and go. iPad quick off the line, pretty close, pretty close. We're in similar spots here. iPad done, playbook still going. Again, static ad, flashy ad, I do believe it is. And I think that's that little bit of extra time. So why don't we go ahead, clear the cache, turn off the flash on that too, and then we will uh, we'll do National Geographic again. Because I don't like to see us lose and we don't have to, right? I want a fair fight, damn it. Cleared, cleared, back open. You gotta, here, you want, oh, here, I'll help you out. It's okay. Stuff happens. Do uh, clear that cache one more time now, just to be safe. I don't want to be accused of cheating. Okay, and you've got, uh, so type in National Geographic. And we now have Flash disabled on the playbook. Notice how the playbook does have a .com button, which I love to see that. And three, two, so now flash off, flash off, let's see what happens. Playbook is hustling here. Sorry, Playbook is slow, iPad 2 is hustling, but now it's catching up towards the end. Bang, done. Well, and it looks like, again, that ad. Now you're seeing the static ad. It was still last to load, though. Kind of interesting. I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe that was a waste of time, but iPad 2 won that one. Let's take a look scrolling through. Scrolling through, nice and quick, gestures, gestures, little bit of tiling there, but pretty good all around. Obviously a bigger display on the iPad too. Let's pull up an Apple site now. What do you think? Tippy.com, our sibling site for all your iPhone, iPad action. All right. Now, the iPad should win this one. Come on, it's, it's got you. Three, two. No, stop. Ah, I finally messed one up. It's okay. We're going to let it go. Tip be done on the iPad 2. And, you know, we had a few seconds I screwed up. But this is still lagging a little bit at the end. But done now. Not too bad. Definitely the best BlackBerry browsing experience I've ever seen to date on any BlackBerry device, be it phone or tablet, that's for sure. Uh, next up, let's do good old crackberry.com. Crackberry.com, crackberry.com. Three, two, and go. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Play a book, play a book. 
Oh, iPad 2's loving it though. Close. They're both close. And come on, playbook. Come on. You're so close. Shh. iPad 2 done. Wins by a little bit. Playbook's hanging on something right at the end. Hmm. I don't know. We got some sticky ad or something there. Okay, so now I want you to go ahead. Let's re-enable Flash and show what happens when we visit a site like adidas.com, which tends to have a fairly heavy Flash component to it. So you can, yeah, swipe down, jump into the options, content, Flash on, Flash on, and adidas.com. This will be the last one. I'm sure we'll do more follow-ups as time goes by. Three, two. Okay, so good example here. Adidas is serving up just an, a basic mobile kind of iPad site that keeps the content pretty simple. On the playbook, what are you getting? The actual full website you go to on your computer because they're not the playbook's not scared of Flash. We did some benchmark tests um, on Flash, and this actually, you know, compared to your computer, it's not that great, but it did beat the uh, Motorola Zoom on the, the benchmark we did, so you can check out our playbook review for some info on that. And uh, I don't know, I think that concludes it. What do you think? It's kind of close, I'd say. Very close. I don't know if I would, I, the iPad 2 is definitely quick out of the gun every time you hit go. It's like, starts loading fast, and it's always that last 10% that seems to be, it could almost go either way what legs. But one thing is for sure is if you're browsing with Flash enabled here, you're going to get Flash ads, which then I think slow down the page load times a little bit. So I think for me personally, I'll probably be browsing with Flash disabled on the playbook most of the time uh, unless I really want that Flash content. Um, but we'll see how it goes. That's about it. Got any call it quits until we try this again. <laughs> Kevin out. Okay, we're back. We had a brilliant idea. We were, we were like, well, you know, we wanted more decisive winner here. So we went to html5test.com and uh, all we did was go to the site and then it tells you your browser scores 258 and 9 bonus points. And then on the iPad, it scores 206 and 7 points. So playbook wins. I think that's it, right? Yeah. We're number one. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> hey, I gotta, gotta take it when I can get it here. It's all good.